Hey everyone, welcome back to Apache Heroes Store. I'm your host, Team UDF, and I'm just gonna wrap this up really quickly. I didn't keep my save with all the with all the stuff I bought. Yes. So let's go ahead and buy the shadow stuff. Oh, let's do I business. Talk. I just want to point out that uh, I too want an actual like ending to this review, and it is worth having an end, of course. So yeah. Now, uh, basically, overall, I do like this mod because you know it gives you a lot of interesting things that you could. You obviously don't have before unless you do for some reason, but mainly what I like about it are all the, the nifty little designs and the fact that it was a, a bunch of mods thrown together in one store. Yeah, there are some oddities like the uh, like it was it was it was geared a little more towards probably the the female side. I mean there are there are male things in here, but there's a, there's a whole opposite mod to this called Apache Goddess Store that pretty much does the same thing for female characters. So this in this one it was like kind of showing off the male characters, quote unquote. Someone said I forgot to show some things off, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. I guess I forgot to show these masks maybe. Let's go ahead and grab those for a bit. And I guess the shoes which are pretty good. Thank so I like get it. It's just odd. You too. I but I get it. Is becoming... Yeah, I know. I didn't get the cowboy hat. I know. I know. Calm down there. Okay, shadow stuff. Shadow shoes. Hey, they're like that. I wore these before. You liar. Liar. All right. Let's take our other mask off so we can see this mask. Let's also take the samurai hat off. See, there it is. Looks kind of neat. Does the suit have a... No, the suit does not have its own... Uh, its own shoes or its own mask. Okay, so... Huh. Actually, I could probably replace the mask on either Zealous or Kachi Do with this mask. Just so I don't have the exact same mask. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oops. Forgot the, the suit is a whole thing. But yeah, not too bad at all. Oh, I forgot my punk, uh, my little punk things too. My uh, brass knucks. Yeah, Ooh, brass knucks. No, but seriously, there are some good designs in this mod. You know, the fact that it's geared towards one thing over another doesn't really drop the score, at least in my opinion. So I, I am going to end up giving this a. Um, I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. Like, there's there's nothing to do other than shop unless I've like completely missed something here. But it does get it it, it delivers what it promises it delivers. You know, it's a freaking awesome store. It's got a ton of custom stuff for you. I didn't show off nearly everything in the mod, but I, I just don't have the incentive to do that. You know, I just kind of browsed. I did what any player would do. I browsed for what would look interesting. I purchased it and I just kind of wore it and messed around with it. And I invented Cowboy Ninja Samurai, Zelos. Zelos. And he's from the future. Zelos. Zelos. But yeah, I don't have anything much more to say here. I mean, you can't you can't do much with the NPCs. You can only really talk to them, but I guess I like the I like the uh, the Norse references here and everything. Cuz uh, North uh, Norse mythology is freaking awesome. Got Thor, Odin, Loki, and some others in there, of course. Especially like how, um... You know, one small thing is that they... Greetings, they have, uh, Ball of Dagon, yep. They have Odin with the, uh, with the eye patch there. With the whole Odin's eye thing. I thought that was a nice touch. I didn't realize it at the very beginning, though. Unless I mentioned it and just kind of forgot about it, but yeah. So, I do recommend these this like mod because if you're if you're putting together machinima or you're just trying to spruce up your NPC companion par, uh, player character wear or something you have, you have quite a bit of variety here I may do the the goddess store in the future just to kind of show the flip side but for now like I've been saying in my team UDF news I'm gonna be slowing down my mod reviews after the Imperial Legion so that I can do more tales from Cyrodiil and then eventually I'm just gonna start knocking mods out of the of the list. Like, not what people are asking me, even after I said I was going by the list now, but the list. <laughs> see, I really don't have much to say here. It's gonna be a really short episode, but yeah, I don't know. Let's go back and see if I can think of any last minute things to look at or do. It's you. Hi. 
What? Check out. Have a uh, look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Modvar again. Uh, the other thing is that uh, it doesn't cause the items don't cause much lag, but they do cause some lag. So it kind of shuts off the the audience a bit because not everybody has a a high end computer here. Just kind of able to run all these things. But I'm not taking too much off for that because you know that. That problem exists with pretty much every mod, almost. Why? Every adventure mod, every Friday. major adventure mod. Have you heard hey, any word about are. the other provinces? I understand Daedra worship is becoming increasingly... Yes? Were you my, uh... What can I interest you in? Brass Nux guy? You had the bandanas, okay. There's just a lot of stuff here. No, you were my, you were my Brass Knuckles guy. Yeah! I don't know, I thought it was pretty good. I do like it. Be seeing you. I think I've said already. What can I do? Oh, capital letters. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Why is that min oh, okay. I don't think Fraps picks that up anyway, so I just have to get used to it happening every once in a while. Yeah, there's nothing else I want to look at. I really implore you guys to go ahead and check this out and look at what you want to see. Someone was complaining that they Good day. They wanted a 720p because they couldn't read all the names and icons and stuff, but, uh... Well, that's another discussion for another day. I just wanted to ma at least make this consistent and finish it off. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's over. Uh, 8.5 out of 10. Really, really think that you guys should check this out if you have, like, the need... Like I said, just go ahead and spruce up the, the stuff that your characters are wearing. Give some stuff to your companions, make things more interesting around your land of Cyrodiil, Major's Guild. So with that, I'm on to the Imperial Legion, and I will see you next time for more Team UDF Gaming. Thanks for watching. If there's any, like, overabundance of requests to do something more with this mod, I might do something else with it, just to let you guys know, but in case it seems like a very sudden ending. Since I went in all this depth in parts 1 and 2, and now part 3 is pretty much just giving the rating and talking about the mod, but yeah. So again, thanks to everybody for watching, and I will see you next time.